Hey guys, welcome back to the second chapter of Eternal Sonata. We just got done uh, watching some pretty lengthy cutscenes, but now the parties of Frederick and Polka have been reunited. Well, I guess united for the first time with Allegretto and Beat. So that is pretty awesome. Um, we just got done fighting a boss, and that's all we did in terms of gameplay. But now we're going to go get started on the next area. And this next area is kind of long, but it's not too bad. And as we already saw, we're going to have to pick this up in a little bit, but we can't do it yet. We've got uh, a couple new enemies we're going to fight out here. I think just maybe two or three, but um, it's kind of hard to back attack, and they're like a hybrid of, like, I don't know, crossbreeders. But, uh, all right, turn around. I don't think we can back attack them too easily, not until we're a higher level. They're just going to watch us. I know we're... Uh, all right, let's just fight them. So, they're not too hard. They're, they've got basic attacks. I guess we have this. There we go. I have like a double attack. Oh, damn it. I missed it the second time. And then they have long range attack. Angel goat, I guess. <laughs> Alright. So, we have this stuff. And we, I didn't change out beat <laughs> for Polka, but it's alright. I'll just. I still have to show that one move, actually. Uh, we have Power Smash here, so let's go ahead and use it. Hopefully, we can get actually 24. Come on, come on. Yeah! Alright. So, here's Power Smash. And death. Yes. Oh, wow. It actually killed him. He killed him in one combo. Jeez. And a coup de gras. I already know how that move works. Pretty easy. And die. Yes. So we basically annihilated them. So, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Polka gets experience too. Even if they're not playing, they get the same amount of experience. So there's that at least. And, uh, I don't want this to spoil anything, but you're going to want to go ahead and just switch Beat's place with Frederick. I mean, it's no big deal, but I, I would recommend you just right now while we're at it. And I guess I'll just skip the goats for now. I, d I won't show the battles because uh, it's kind of pointless, but basically you're just going to head up here. Uh, find more paper littered about. God, this it looks beautiful. Like, this huge field is pointless, but still. So we see this Billy Boat. Billy Boat? God, Billy Goat Gruff. But he has, like, a bell, I guess? I don't know. He's black and they white. Oh, what are goats doing in a place like this? Well, it is kind of like, you know, a prairie. I don't know. <laughs> yes, we're negotiating with goats. Please, Mr. Goat. Uh, Mr. Goat. Mr. Goat. Goat. It's for goat. Here's your time. God, every time I think of goats, I think of uh, uh, that movie, that Tom Hanks movie, The Terminal, when he's, like, translating what the one Russian guy has all the medicine for, and he's like, It's for goat! And that's so funny how, like... Not funny, I know it's supposed to be like a drama movie, but they it was like so over the top. Like, they're pulling him away, and he's like, GOAT! It's for GOAT! And he's like, well, GOAT is another word for, or is, sounds very close to dad, and I don't know. Uh, the, 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 Kokosia, the name for a father, sounds like GOAT. Zako go, ele karstvoto. Answer him, Mr. Miladragovich. Who are the pills for? Okay, the pills stay, he goes. That's it. Come on now, let's go. Easy. Take it easy, come on. Goat. Medicine for goat. Medicine for goat. Medicine for goat. Medicine for goat. Give him the pills. <laughs> You love that goat. I like that movie, but still. So we're gonna have to collect all the paper. And uh Yes, because we all know goats eat paper. So we know this. We know this this is not news to us, and there's a second one over here. And there's nothing really in this field worth uh, doing anything for. I mean, uh, the enemies weren't going to want to grind. Well, not really grind. You don't have to grind this game at all. It's not really that tough unless, you know, you suck at it. But otherwise, there's no real need to have to grind in any part of this game. Except close to the end. There's some pretty hard parts at the end. But I guess that's a given considering it's the end of the game. So here we got the third piece. Now, I'll just meet you guys back over at the GOAT since we just have to walk over there. And that's all we have to do. Alright, that only took like 15 seconds. But who cares? Let's just... 
Time paradox. All right. So of course I have to feed him one at a time. Handed over paper. <laughs> Here, take this. It's dangerous out there. Don't go alone. All right, come on. We don't need to see this. We can just kill them. We just killed like the hybrid of like unicorn flying goat monsters. Yeah, we can't pass these three little jerks being jerks to us. Hey. Game. Oh. All right, come on. There we go. Take this. Nom, 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 nom. Day racist. All right, there. Now that's done with. I guess we get another mini cutscene with the, with Frederick and <laughs> Polk out. Let us through, Mr. Goat. Come on, we don't have to see you walking away. There are better ways to illustrate us going through this thing. Animals listen to you. Okay, whatever. So we're gonna have to start listening to Beat, not. And then we're in the second area. This is the South Lake, the Coarse Plains. There's a new enemy over there. He's not too hard, but we don't really want to worry about him right now because, uh, uh, there's a guy over there. Uh, there's a chest, I think. Oh, it's over there. So, uh, oh boy, I wish this was like Ilo Milo where you could see through stuff, but apparently not. So let's try and back attack this guy. Oh, nope. Ninja. So not too hard. Just, uh, basic now here's where you can start fighting people just to get levels up because they're they don't get too tough here so and i guess they get to attack first for some reason oops oh got it got it. oop yeah all right now let's see what i'm gonna do all right let's go ahead and attack this dude a bunch of times hopefully we can get a 12x or 12 echo come on come on come on 12 oh one more crap okay now i don't think beat will be able to get his power smash ultra all right. and Crap, all right, whatever. And he didn't die. So, here's his moves. And that's basically all he does. I think he's a long range attack too, but it's not really that good. God, I hate it when enemies guard. You're not allowed to guard. I'm using a sword on your face. Why are you able to guard against that? All right, there. Epic coup de gras. Or gras. I keep saying gras. I don't know why I'm silencing the CE, but. What? I so guarded against that. <sighs> Oh, he's almost dead. What? I guarded against that too. You're kidding me. All right, let's kill this jerk now. Once and for all. I don't think he even needs a combo to finish him off. Let's just do it. And that's a very appealing view. Now we can kill this guy again. And right, now after this battle, I'm going to start... Uh... Oh, okay. Good. good thing it doesn't deplete that guy. I'm going to start skipping the battles after this again. So, You know what? You get a few grave and... Death. There. Go back. <laughs> Go back. And Frederick gained a level. Pretty cool. Of course. Not without his creepy laugh, of course. But we all know how that goes. Alright, so yes, like I said, skipping all battles. Uh, because it's the same thing over and over. I swear to God. Alright, so we got a Giselle, which is uh, Beat's new weapon. I guess we can go and uh, put that on him. I think it's pretty good. Uh, ooh, plus seven. Nice. So front loading rifle is a specialized gun stock. I bet it does. Now if we head over here, we're gonna see a bunch of goats over here. We're gonna talk to this jerk over here. And uh hey there, sort of an embarrassing request. You wouldn't happen to have a pair of long johns handy. Well how well if you grabbed the long johns before from the guy who wanted the paint, then of course here. And of course he has to make up some bullshit excuse as to why he needs new long johns. <laughs> so here, take some goat's milk and don't watch me. Now we see this looming view of this like beautiful water lake thing i guess uh but it's basically a dead end over there so we're gonna have to head over to the right but not without grabbing an item first because when we grab this item which we're gonna want to do i guess it's just right over here if there's anything around now we got club clover which restores 3,000 to all party members so that's pretty good uh just have that in mind and we'll have to come back here eventually you'll see and there's a house over there we'll get into that in a second ha that sign will block me. Or block. Whoa, there's another one over here. I'll just kill this guy. Damn it. Jeez, that battle was unnecessarily long. That was like a minute and a half. God. Uh, I, I hate it when they attack first because it takes so long. All right, now we're at the East Lake, and it's just this really narrow, generic little hallway thing. I don't really have to worry about it because I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to get past this area. Oh, damn it. I got back attacked, you guys. 
All right, I think that's the first time I ever got back attacked. Jeez. All right, go ahead and use peach cookies. Whoops, didn't really have to use it on Allegretto. But oh well. Just a spoiler, we're going to have a slight boss battle. Not really. I mean, it's it's a slight possibility. We might. Uh, but yeah, we have a kind of a long cutscene, but I guess it's for good reason. I'll kill this guy really fast since I'm really close to leveling up. All right, there. Now, one more battle. We'll definitely level up, but I don't even think there's... Oh, there's probably a couple more up ahead. And there's no items out here. This kind of sucks, but no big deal. There's a save spot. Oh, my God. I wonder what's beyond this save spot. Anyway, I'm going to save really fast. All right, there we go. All right, now let's head over here. This doesn't look ominous. The screen fades to black, and, of course, cutscene has to introduce everything. And, oh, my God, there's a rainbow. Ahead, everyone. There's someone there. Ah. <laughs> uh. Of course, it has to be like get a vixen. Back. I won't let you lay a finger on my goats. You'll have to get through me first. We have to help that woman. <laughs> of course, Polka just butting your nose in everyone's business. And I know I'm not the first person to say this, and I'm definitely not going to be the last. But those are Grade A whiz robes. Yes, annoying, idiotic whiz robes from Zelda. Ugh. So, uh, for the third party member, we have Viola, and what we're going to want to do, she has a bow and arrow, and you can attack from a distance, which is pretty good. You can aim, but it's no real, no real, you know, it's not really a big deal. Just go ahead and shoot to your heart's content, I guess. And uh, her bone crum crumble is pretty good, but it's only worth it in the shade, and oops, way too early. Um, crap, I hate that. Okay. Okay. Do that, I guess. All right, let's... Uh, her sacred signature is actually, or her sacred, her sacred strike is pretty good actually. So, crap, I won't be able to do it though. Oh God, way too early. Come on. God, that one is weird. It has like such an awkward thing. All right, so let's just do a sacred strike a couple times if I can. There we go. And its powered up version is really strong. It could almost do ten thousand. So, oh, I mean this early, I guess, but. All right now, oh, attacking me from behind, are you? And these guys aren't that tough. They're pretty easy. They're, I think, I forgot they're called Malad or something. I don't know. All right, death. Bam. They're not dead. Uh, yeah, let's try and kill him, this jerk. Uh, so Viola is pretty good. I guess she's all right. And yes, we do get her as a party member if you didn't already guess. I mean, what kind of an RPG would this be without the skinny clad archer lady who kicks ass with the bow and arrow? Oh, there we go. Oh, crap. Way too early. Death blow. Hardly. All right. Let's try this. Let's kill this jerk before he gets an attack him. So her physical attacks give some pretty good uh, stuff. And arrow through the back and not dead. Come on. What is he doing? Did he? Oh, okay. Oh, God. I keep doing that way too early. All right. You know what? Just die. Please. Please, thank you. All right, there we go. And all right. I'll just uh, I'll put up my stuff for. Come on, twenty-four. There we go. All right. Come on. Oh, please. All right, let's just go in. Uh, all right, there we go. Let's get thirty-two and then use our sacred strike. Epic death. And there. And he didn't. Oh, he was guarding. What a dazzle. You suck. And he recovered 12 from that. God. All right. You know, I'll just use the floor powder. I don't care. I don't care. Even though we're probably going to heal all health after this. I kind of forgot like that. Whatever. We have enough death. There. Okay. There. Yay. Oh. 6,000 experience. Awesome. 6,000 experience. Right through my sword, and she's level 12. God, are we under leveled or what? All right. <laughs> now I'm just no. Now I'm level 11, so not too bad. We we're pretty close. And got shadow assault. Awesome. This is a great move for the shadows. And now Frederick does his creepy laugh and gains two levels as well. And I think Polka and Beat gains some levels too. So we don't get to see those, but they don't hey, care. They don't matter. Help. You all managed to save my goats. Of course we did. Was with those guys anyway. They were weird, and they all used magic. <laughs> yes, they had the ability to use magic, which means that they must be terminally ill. <laughs> Great logic. This but is the logic of the game. Like that? They 
So, hmm. So you're gonna want to remember what? that because, uh, yep. That's what happens to people when they use mineral powder. If you use mineral powder too long, you become a monster. What? You look like you enemies mean, from Legend of Zelda. Don't let that happen. You might end up like those guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? Lots of people in Red Herdondo are using it. That's why floral powders aren't selling. So that's it. The mineral powder. <laughs> the camera pans in. I knew something fishy was it's going been on. bugging me for a while, and now I get. I just, I had a hunch. Huh? What do you get? <laughs> Come on, think for a minute, Beat. Why do you think mineral powder is the only thing that's not taxed? Well, that's an easy one. It's because Count Waltz is doing something <sighs> nice. For Count Waltz again with no, the names dummy. of musics. For yeah. what they are, because you're always looking through that lens. Dummy. Listen. Try again, and this time, think about it more. Isn't it strange that mineral powder is the only thing that's not being taxed? In some ways, Yeah, I guess. I guess but that's okay. Because since <laughs> mineral powder is so cheap, it can help lots of people. True. Wrong! Mineral powder does cure most illnesses, but it has some very serious side effects. The ones they mineral don't put on the bottle. Mineral powder is closer to a poison. It drives people mad, and eventually can lead to death. <laughs> You saw it for yourselves. Wait, what's your name again, lady? <laughs> That's horrible. It's horrible. It's weird when people say horrible. Oh, like, raising time is over uh, for today. That's horrible. Hey, why don't you all stop by my place for a while? It's not very far from here at all. Come <laughs> on. It's like, okay, I kind of... Never mind. Oh, look, she lives in that house by herself, and she has five chairs. What gives? My name she even has an upstairs. This guy over here is my partner, Arco. Aw. Arco. Oh, how cute. <laughs> God. He's so like mineral powder's a poison. You're still talking about that? Jeez. There must be more to it. Do people talk about so anything other than never mind. The this is like the what could right. count Waltz's I'm gonna say this is like the opposite of a Quentin Tarantino movie where they don't That's talk about anything related to the too. plot. They just talk about, you know, whatever the hell else they want to. Count Here Waltz they talk about nothing else but the plot. <sighs> but is this feels as long as a cutie movie, so about the count. But if he wanted to kill his own people, there are easier and faster ways to go about doing it. <sighs> Let's no, just keep maybe, talking about it. Maybe he doesn't know about the side effects of the mineral powder. Is it really possible that he doesn't know? You know, that's, that's like a one in I'm like 18 sure. quadrillion chance I mean, that is reality. Uses, but just because it's useful doesn't mean that it's good. So why you don't Those take drugs, kids? Those not realize what's wrong until it's too late. Unless someone does something about this soon, there won't be anything anyone can do to stop it. And since we can see what's going on, it's up to us to let them know. They like how convenient it is so much, <sighs> they don't see the danger they'll face later. Sounds like a problem we have in today's society. People might notice that something isn't right, but they can't bring themselves to give it up because it makes life easier for them. It's true what they say. The longer you wait, the harder the cure. Wait, who says that Regardless exactly? <laughs> Count Waltz knows it's like, oh, I just not. made that up myself. I don't see any other option than to go to Forte Castle. Once there, we may learn more. <laughs> we get a Keanu Reeves, you're a guy now. We should try to meet with the Count in person and discuss his intentions directly. I have no doubts that is exactly what you would do had you go face to face with him because this is all this game is just a bunch of conversation. <laughs> Something. Ah, just pop my ow! Just pop my elbow twice. Jeez, it hurt. Like I stretched it out and then I. Since my bow has some life in it. She's gonna invite okay, herself. I'm going with you guys to the castle. She's like a cougar. Actually, I think she's only in like Besides, her twenties or something. Walt some payback. <laughs> a bunch of my poor little goats have been killed because of what he's done. Oh, so there, there's motivation. There's her, what? you know, You're her drive. Another one now. <laughs> oh, terrific. Sorry, buddy, not so fast. You've actually got two more coming. Oh, but not Don't really, since Arco is basically together. useless. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean you were that useless. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, check her out. Hey, I wanted to be first. All right, so Viola or Viola, I don't whatever. I don't 
don't care. Uh, she's got some pretty good things. She's a warm bow, worn bow, wool robe, and she'll sacred strike and bone crumble. Bone crumble is pretty good. It's one of those things. And then over here, I think we didn't learn anything. No. I'm gonna stick with sacred, sacred signature. Uh, Viola is really good. We're gonna use her like a lot of the time. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right, now we learned. Okay, yeah, so we learned another wave. This is actually a pretty good move. I uh, probably want to keep this in her inventory for most of the time. Phantom wave for shadow assault, six hits, two point eight seconds, pretty good. So it's basically <laughs> sun sun slash, but better in the dark. So uh, there's that. Now let's open this. Wait. God, what was I? Okay, <laughs> wonder if it's a gift from someone. Gift tag. God, he's so snoopy. All right, we got a club. Club Clover, Clover, God, that was terrible English. And look around in here. Where's Retornando? Oh my God, is this the world? What's the ocean? I don't know. But uh, all right, I guess we get a loading screen. Now we're somehow outside. But uh, that's pretty much all we're gonna do for this episode. There's a safe spot conveniently located here. So uh, we actually, in two videos, we got three party members, two boss fights, and a lot of story progression. Well, for the most part, we're just about done with this area too. We just gotta head out over there. And this this jerk, gone, gone. The three letters I had from Miss Viola are gone. Okay, so we're gonna have to keep him in mind for later, but uh, for now, I don't think he should be yelling that right in front of Her Highness or whatever. Not Her Highness, actually, that's not spoilers or anything, though. I don't even know why I said that, but uh, next time we're gonna go ahead and continue on, head into a dungeon, perhaps? We'll see. And uh, I'll talk to you guys then. Hope you guys are enjoying.